thinking about getting an Intel Mac in 2024? Well, you might want to think again, but hey, if you've already got one or you struck a good deal, stick around because there are some crucial things you must know before you hit that buy now button. And before we get into if the Intel Mac is worth it for you, hi, I'm Captain Awesome. This is Geekception and I really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe if you like what I do here so you don't miss future videos. Now, is it really a good idea to buy an Intel Mac, especially now in 2024 or if you're watching in the future? Or maybe you're even thinking it's a steal, right? But there are some huge caveats that come with owning an Intel Mac today. First off, let's start with security updates. And for some Intel Macs, they already will not be receiving the latest Mac OS update. For example, take this 2017 MacBook Pro that I have with me here. And this means that you're going to be missing out on some crucial security updates here, which in 2024 and moving forward will be leaving you vulnerable to security risks. So if you're going to be using your Intel Mac for important tasks, I would say make sure you're careful about what software you download and make sure that it is only from verified developers from verified websites because you are definitely not going to be getting those security updates that protect you on a system level. And if we look here on this Macworld article here, it says that, you know, based on the data, a Mac receives about 6.6 .6 years of software updates on average, which means that if you are looking back six years from now, 2024, that would be about 2018. So yeah, this is, I think, the cutoff period for uh, Max, you know, you can get that are still Intel Macs that will still be receiving some updates. Next up is battery life. Now, Intel Macs are aging and the batteries probably don't hold up like as well as they used to. Sure, you could replace your battery, but if I just did a quick estimate here on the Apple uh, service website, you can see it costs a thousand ringgit, which if I'm converting it, is almost about $250, almost $300 to replace just the battery it can be very pricey. And in some cases, it might even be cheaper to just get a new computer altogether when you consider how much you're going to have to pay. And this is the official Apple store. There might be in your country, for example, unofficial Apple stores that would even charge you more. So a tip here would be if you're getting an older Intel Mac here, I would say have your charger handy so that you can charge it whenever the battery goes low or even if it doesn't hold the charge anymore. You just know that you are living that hashtag desktop life even though it's a laptop. Next, app compatibility, which can be a deal breaker to some people and it might be for you. Now, if we look here, a growing number of apps are currently only supported on Apple Silicon Macs. While some apps also have strict OS requirements that your Intel Mac just wouldn't meet. So, what do you do? Well, in some cases, you can always use a web version of the app you want to download. So if there's a website version of that, I would suggest you go to the website or you can just download an older version of the app if it's available. Though, I'll be honest here, not all apps have an older version that is available, so that's something to take note into account as well. And in some use cases, you are not even going to be able to get that app at all because it's just too powerful and there's no web version. So in that case, well, you're out of luck. Hardware problems and the inevitable issues. Now, Intel Macs are prone to quite a few problems, whether it's a broken keyboard or in this case, you know, the battery I actually turned this laptop on, but it just turned off and it never turned on again, even though it still has like 60% charge or it's a broken webcam, which this laptop has a broken webcam. It just doesn't work anymore. So once again, if you are looking to buy an Intel Mac, you have to be very careful and inspect multiple aspects of the laptop you're about to buy. Is the keyboard working? You know, are do all the keys pressed properly? Is the webcam working? Does the battery hold the charge? How long does the battery hold the charge for? These are some of the things you need to pay key attention to if you're considering pulling the trigger on an Intel Mac because some of the issues are not as obvious as it's just not working or even, you know, like it's outright not working. Sometimes it works a little bit and it doesn't work. So please pay close attention to this. And in some cases, you might need to look into repair options in your country, but that is not the official Apple Care that is going to charge you an arm and a leg because again, if you had money to buy, you know, uh, or repair that, then you will probably not be buying this in the first place. So that's something to take note into account. I'm moving on to performance and just get it out of the way. It is no contest at all. No Intel Mac can compete with an M1 or Apple Silicon uh, chip equivalent Mac. Because even the top tier Intel Macs, like the Core i9 model, which was the last Intel model that uh, Apple used, holds no candle to a MacBook Air base model. I mean, this here is the M3 chip, but even if you were looking at the M1 chip, 
it just it, it will get absolutely destroyed and it's not just in one area right so in terms of performance in terms of heat management in terms of efficiency the m1 here just runs cooler it's more quieter and it simply just outperforms all of the intel max so unless you're getting an intel max for a ridiculously low price i would say maybe put some of that money maybe top it up a little bit and if you're only getting the baseline MacBook Air M1 uh, for cheap or for second hand in your country, it's still such a great deal compared to buying, you know, the Core i9 version, which seems like a great deal on the surface, but that laptop is very loud, it's very hot. You're just getting a way more bang for your buck, even with a baseline MacBook Air M1. Now, this brings us to pricing. Is an Intel Mac worth it? Well, it depends. If you're on a super tight budget or you found a deal so great that you cannot pass it up, it's definitely worth considering. But if you can scrape together a little bit more and just maybe wait a little tiny bit more time for the MacBook Air M1 to drop, then that might be a way better option. Trust me, your future self will thank you. So going full circle and coming back to the beginning of the video, is the Intel Mac worth it? And in my opinion, absolutely not but if you'd already made the choice and you cannot pass up on a good deal just be sure you are aware of all the limitations you are going to face on an intel mac from the outdated software to your potential battery and hardware issues you will need to weigh the pros and cons carefully and still seriously i'll recommend you getting a apple silicon baseline m1 if you can like your future self seriously will thank you especially because apple devices even second hand even third hand is not cheap so you might as well just want to future proof your investment are you convinced are you still considering buying an intel mac or have i managed to convince you to switch to buying an you know baseline m1 mac or whatever let me know all of those things and more in the comment section and while you're there don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to you know subscribe here on geekception so you don't miss all of the wonderful videos like this that i make because i put myself in the shoes of you know uh, you who is watching right now and ask myself like you know what are some of the things i would like to know because especially this is not an m1 this is a legit 2017 macbook pro that uh, you know i have in the house here so i decided like hey why don't i make this video to educate you know people who might be considering you know buying this so please leave all your, the questions you might have down in the comment section there below and i'll try to come here occasionally and hang out and answer as much questions as i can well that has been it for this video i'm your captain of awesome this is geekception and please text me when you get home so i know you got home safe and if you want to support what i do here i have paypal you can buy me coffee we have memberships here on youtube all of those things will go a long way in helping me make videos like this but yes shall catch you in the next one don't forget to stay awesome bye And thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video here. And you know, for this video, I've had the uh, MacBook Pro here for a while and I was trying to upgrade it because my wife kept on complaining that it was not updating to the latest Mac OS version. And then when I tried to update it, I realized that it just wasn't supported. So I was like, hey, there is a video here, especially for people who are looking to like, you know, buy older Macs, right? Because it might be cheaper now. But anyway, enough of all of that boring stuff. Thank you for getting to the end of the video. I've really been enjoying just like, you know, making videos. This will be my second upload this week, which I'm very excited about. As you can see, I have like all my setup here. I'm not even sure if I'm in the frame. I'm recording on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra right now. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm in the frame right now, but I really do hope I'm in the frame. But how have you been? How is your week going? Today is Tuesday where I'll be uploading this. Um, you know, wherever it is where you are in the world, hope you're doing well. Please let me know all of those in the comments down there below. And this week's hashtag is forgot the awesome. So hashtag forgot the awesome. So I know you made it to the end of the video, but yes, I shall catch you in the next one, especially in the next end credit scene. So please take care of yourself. Um, you know, uh, text me uh, on my social media if you are here with hashtag whatever hashtag for the week so i know you are in this gang so i can prioritize replying to you there but yes most importantly take care and i'll catch you on the next one yeah all right bye